what's up guys in this video we're gonna see how to use python for data recovery i have a script here about 30 lines of code and we're gonna be running it to show you guys how you can recover data from a disk or a usb folder what have you and this will be focused on jpeg files and at the end of the video i'm also going to show you how you can go about putting the signatures in for finding other types of files let's get to it all right before we break down the code let me go ahead and run the script so you can see it in action so here i have this usb you can see the folder is empty there are no files in it however i did format it and i had some images on it previously so let me pull up my prompt and we're gonna go ahead and run the data recovery script and you'll see the folder being populated with the recovered images all the images that i'm extracting from this usb will go into this folder called one in my desktop so let's run it all right there we go the data recovery script has finished you can see in total it recovered about 754 images and here they are i'm gonna go through them really quick there's even some images here that i don't even know how they got there but yeah there we go so basically whenever it finds a jpeg it's gonna output the offset location in hex and this location over here you can also open it in a hex editor and if you do search go to and then you input the location it gives you the exact starting point basically the offset of where it found that image and where it recovered it from and it also gives you the name right so in that case you have 751 all right so now let's take a look at the code we saw the script in action this is all the code it's about 20 lines of code we start off by opening the drive so in this case the g letter on windows of course on linux you'd have to use a slash dev slash sdb or whatever the letter is we go ahead and open it as read binary mode now here we have the variables for the running of the script so we're doing 512 read per sector so that means we're reading 512 bytes each time the loop goes through and that's just so that we read it in chunks rather than reading the whole disk at once for memory consumption reasons then we go and start off by reading the initial 512 bytes this is going to be the offset location so that we can easily seek to that location in hex then we have the data recovery mode this will activate whenever we locate a file with that signature that we are attempting to recover and we have the recovered variable which basically we'll keep track of the file names so it starts at zero so 0.jpg 1.jpg and so on so we don't have the same name for all the images what the script is going to do is while we're reading the bytes we're going to search for this specific sequence of bytes in hex right so this is the file signature for jpeg now if you're looking for a different type of file i have a list of file signatures link over here and this will show you all types of files you can see for a pcap uh, icon for a tarball and so on gif so all types of file signatures you're going to be able to find here and basically you would just replace the file signature right over here and then of course you need the file trailer at the end as well to know where the file terminates if this is all new to you i do have a previous blog post and video called data recovery using hex editor which is going to clarify a lot of these things 
so I'll make sure to link it up above check it out if you're in doubt now let's get back to the code if we do find that sequence of bytes we're gonna go into another loop and basically we activate the data recovery mode we're gonna print out on the screen that we found the file at location and we convert it to hex then we of course go ahead and open a new file in this case we're gonna create a new JPEG since the script is mostly focused on JPEGs and we're gonna write all the bytes up to the point of where we located the signature to the end of the 512 chunk of bytes and then we go into another loop right so on this other loop here basically what we're doing is we're gonna read another 512 bytes we're gonna search for the trailer that is the end of file signature for JPEGs which is FFD9 so if we do locate this trailer then we know that we're ready to end the data recovery mode so we can write up to the trailer and you're gonna notice there's a 2 over here because this trailer has 2 bytes right so we have ff1 d92 and if the trailer is bigger you would have to change this 2 to the size of the trailer and then we can seek back to the original position because mind you we're still reading bytes on the file so whenever we're done we want to go back to the original location and then once we seek back we can print jpeg to location blah 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 disable data recovery mode we're gonna increment the recovered file name so that it can now write it as 1.jpg or 2.jpg and so on close the file all right uh, so otherwise if we don't find the trailer we're just gonna keep writing the bytes to the file and then once that's done we can simply go ahead and keep reading the bytes and incrementing the offsets for easier hexadecimal location and finally just close the disk and exit out of the script so that's basically it it's not a very long script as always you can download the script from the link below on my blog and just to clarify a few things let's say you wanted to search for a different file type you can see we have the signature here ffda ffe0 uh, you would have to leave the backslash and the x as those identify the hex in python but you can see i have the same jpeg signature right over here and this is where i took it from and another way you could do this as always would be to fire up a hex editor and simply open a file of the type that you're looking for so let's say you're looking i'm gonna stick with jpegs for this one but let's say you open this file you can simply check out the trailer right over here ffd8 ffe0 blah 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 and you could just go all the way to the end of it and that's going to give you the trailer as well in this case ffd9 and then you can just adjust the script for both the file signature and the trailer and that's going to make it pretty easy to find any type of files that you're looking for now i am interested in implementing multiple file signatures into the script there will definitely be a continuation to this as i'm fascinated by how much you can achieve with just a few lines of python code i hope you guys enjoyed this one